How do you feel knowing that you will not spend another night in a normal home for at least over a year? Turn it back now. Here we go. You're probably wondering how we got here. Let's show you and back the footage up a little. Hey, welcome to my girls plus me, our relatively new YouTube channel. I'm Eric. I'm Heather. And uh, we just want you to know why we started this channel at first. Is it, obviously we have a few videos in front of this. So our daughter, Emma, asked that we start YouTubing many years ago. And you've seen a few of the videos that we started with last summer. But then we made a huge decision in the past few months to retire from the military. And so we've decided to use this channel, hopefully to even to help you as you transition from the military or retire. Because we're going to film part of the process as we make our journey to another life uh, and head back home to our home, uh, the, the Tampa Bay area in Florida. So what we have done in preparation for that, and this is what uh, you just saw, is we bought a fifth wheel and we're gonna pretty much for the next year or so go full-time uh, we haven't completely written off everything but what we did do is we sold almost 20 years worth of stuff that we have and you see a lot of stuff behind us but it definitely isn't what we had after uh, 20 years of marriage and me being in the military for 23 years uh, we're going to show you the process of us buying the RV and getting it delivered and getting it ready for us this past summer. Today is our last day in this home. I want to ask Heather, how do you feel knowing that you will not spend another night in a normal home for at least over a year? Well, it's something that I said I would never, ever, ever, ever do, but yet here we are. So, we will see. It's either going to bring us closer together or we're going to really get on each other's nerves a lot. So, But I think it'll be fun and I'm glad that we have family in the area. So if we want to take a nice spacious shower or a bath or stay in a bigger bed or have more room to walk around, we can escape and do that whenever we want. So I'm actually looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to saving money and building a different chapter and future in our lives. Yeah, and that chapter is kind of what we want to record for you. And if you want other things uh, from the process of retiring or transitioning from the military, just leave a comment for us. Uh, but uh, I've already gone through a lot of the process of retirement. Um, but anything you're curious about, let us know. Leave a comment. And as far as RVing, we're not like traveling the country full time RVing. We're more of making it a mobile home, right? We're going to take the RV and move it to the Tampa Bay area and pretty much stay, uh, stay in one spot as much as we can until we find some land we want to buy and build a home and move the camper to that location uh, as we build our home and, and we want to take you on that journey as well uh, whenever we get to that point although it's a short journey 
RVing, the long journey of transitioning to a new life, a new job, new friends, new home, and all that's going to happen in the next year or two. And we'd like to take you for that journey. Uh, so please subscribe if you're interested. Leave a comment. Let us know what you want to see. And uh, we're excited for this journey. Coming down the driveway. step towards our full-time RV living. The RV is almost here. The guy called me. It should arrive here soon. We're going to meet him at a friend's house so we have enough land to park it for a little bit. We'll check it out and show you what it looks like. Our 2019 Grand Design Solitude 3740 BHR. It's a long title. It was one of the most popular campers. And we just fell in love with it to live full time. Now we're going to get to check it out here soon. See you there. Here it is. There's the baby. Howdy! So I need you to back it up right next to those trees where they're at if you can. Yeah, yeah, please do. So I heard you got a good deal on this thing? I got a great deal on this thing. Is that yours too? No, this is a friend's house. We live on base, we're military. Oh, okay. And uh, they have, uh, they just got a lot of land. Let's get this thing in here. <laughs> Man, this is gonna be tight. That spare tire? I'm watching this. Yeah, and that's what I'm watching on the other side too. It is gonna be tight. Okay, so our concern is that a leveler. He's gonna pull it forward. Give it one more try, and if that doesn't make it, he's gonna pull it in front ways in the front yard and back it around. That's good. Yeah. All right. Good, 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 good. All right, let's get it down. and transport pretty good good rate from Chester South Carolina all the way here to Kansas it cost us $1,900 for him to haul a fifth wheel it took two and a half days he left Wednesday morning it is now Friday afternoon he got here at 1500 3 p.m. Not bad. Now we get to play with it. Check this thing out. It's Why 
some ice in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. redo some of the stuff day zero walkthrough owning our camper a lot of stuff to adjust and clean and tighten and that's fix your room. that's that's what you get when you buy a used though but hey it's what we wanted just a little elbow grease elbow grease will take care of this can you tell it's hot Kansas summer, no AC in here. Oh, it's all the manuals. Manuals. I need some of that. So, today we're here for day one. It is 12.05, and we are going to start cleaning the rig. It's very overwhelming. So we decided to start with the outside and the smallest room. It's a mess. My cleaning standards are here. Average cleaning standards are here. These folks cleaning standards are here. So we got a lot of work to do to get to here, but we'll get there. It's going to be a process though. So, I'm not picky, but if I buy a camper, Let's not have everything just covered in dog hair. If we're selling our camper, come on, seriously. <laughs> filthy this is the master bath right everybody knows the 3740 master bath and that that's the cleanliness so we got you know every known kind of hair to man every gunk it's kind of gross it's kind of gross but we're dealing with it Okay, so we continue to clean, and uh, she found some fun stuff in the fridge. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> so uh, we got yeah hair and bugs in the fridge. <laughs> Thank you, last owner. 
for being a very clean person. Is that mold? How do you get dog hair in a refrigerator? They kept the chihuahuas in there. It's awesome. That is awesome. Alright, day one cleaning done. It's five. We started what right before noon. We're soaking wet with sweat. Drank tons of water. And we barely got half of the RV clean. As you saw it was so far pretty gross. But we're positive because uh we saved thirty thousand dollars buying this camper, so I think I think that's worth thirty thousand dollars for us to clean. So we'll be back tomorrow on day two of cleaning the camper. Good night. Back at it, day two, cleaning our beauty. This is our beauty right now, and uh, got most of the stuff in the main living area cleaned. Some of the stuff in the bunkhouse. Uh, today we'll try to finish in here and then do the master bath and the master bedroom other than the vacuuming I did yesterday but a lot to do we cleaned a lot of the fridge parts in our at home last night we took them home disgusting and then I'm gonna work outside a little measure the camper some and just understand this camper all right get at it today all right Let's see how big this thing is. Alright, so including the ladder on the back, 41 feet, 7 inches. Let's see how tall it is. Thirteen feet six inches. Thirteen feet six inches. We'll call that safe. And since Heather's got to measure the slides, what do you think that is? All right. So when we pull in, outside your rib cage. Okay. And then the tallest slide, well, the longest slide over here is the bunkhouse. That is just about the same. Outside rib gauge. Okay. Now we're starting to know what we got. Okay, so let's see what the dryer looks like. Oh, that's, yeah. Typical. Typical. Bathroom cleaning time. How do you feel about this? Not happy. I think I threw up in my mouth. <laughs> it's disgusting. Hairs make me gag. Uh, especially other people's hairs. My own hairs make me gag. <laughs> All right. Thanks for leaving me. Hi, I'm not leaving you. I just gotta do things outside. Oh, yeah. I like your buns. <laughs> Here we go. Oh yeah. That's that's fun. Fun cleaning right there. Other people's filth. It's nice. Good luck. Okay, that was the end of day two. Didn't get as much done as we wanted to. You saw a lot of what we did, measuring the camper, getting the hitch ready, cleaning the bathroom. We cleaned the back room a little more, or the master a little more, but we really spent most of our time on this thing. This was disgusting. And uh, we're not even done. We haven't even really cleaned a lot of the toilet. 
We spent most of our time in the shower and that was pretty gross. And then there was some interruption there, we had the AC problem, but overall, we still got more to go to clean, to get ready. This was a doozy, but again, hey, we saved some serious money, right? That's what we gotta keep thinking about. Okay, end of day two.